So, uh, so Francis, as you started to come in contact with them, it sounds like your doctrine on the charismatic gifts changed. Did your experience of them change also? Did you start getting visions? Did you start speaking in tongues? Did you start having these kinds of things happen? Could you glow in the dark and float across a room? That's that's what I want to know. <laughs> that's the standard right there. <laughs> that's it. Well, and, and it's interesting because like when I spoke at, you know, for my pickle, I even said in front of the whole crowd, I go, look, you guys, I don't speak in tongues. Yeah. You know, and I, I've said that at, uh, you know, um, you know, like the AG conference for all the pastors, like, look, I don't speak in tongues. And according to your theology, I don't have the Holy Spirit in me. And yet you're having me speak to your leadership. So what does that say? Could it be that 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 God shows himself, reveals the spirit's gifts, you know, can manifest in different ways so much that you see the spirit in me? Mm. Um, now, I will say that in the last two years, it was during a conversation yeah. with uh, Sam Storms. Um, and as I was speaking with him on the phone about that very issue, I believe I began to speak in tongues. Um, hey. Yeah. And Join Max Lucado on that. We had him on the show talking about it. Well, and N.T. Wright. Yeah. yeah. And it, it kind of was a shock to me. And then it wasn't until uh, a trip to Burma a little over a year ago that I experienced healing um, and miracles. Uh, I believed they could happen, but I never saw it and never was the vehicle through which it came. But then it happened. And I, I think there was something to these different streams coming together, seeking unity, understanding we had differences. And I just believe God uh, blessed us in a special way during that trip. 